it's Tiffany here with Zia Waste, and I got a package in the mail today from Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. This uh, should be my 600 European Nightcrawler cocoons. My last video I showed you I set up this tiny little worm home for them. I'm going to be uh, watching their hatching progress out of this tiny bin and then I'll be moving them over to the urban worm bags um, as they hatch. Um, but I just wanted to get this box open real fast and show you what's inside. So this is what was in the package. Emily sent me a brochure. A little bit about uh, the vermin composting process and how she's been doing it. A little bit about her YouTube channel there. Also tells you about preparing um, the cocoons and where to find um, helpful links, helpful videos. This is very cool. And I love her business card. Saving the world with worms, cocoons, and compost. This card feels amazing. It's really soft. It's got to be some kind of linen. Very, very cool. And then these are the cocoons. She's got a moist napkin in here for the moisture. This is funny. Em Emily was worried about sending me a plastic bag because she knows that I'm zero waste. But I did assure her that I would be reusing the bags. So um, I reuse any plastic bags that I have as many times as possible before I ultimately send them to the landfill. Or if they are stretchable bags, like sh plastic shopping bags, I recycle those in the grocery store. All right, and this looks like it's just a little sandbag that it's moist. It must have everything in here. I'm gonna open it up. All right, so I got this little bag opened up and there's a wet tissue in here, keeping everything moist. Just gonna make sure there's no cocoon stuck to it. And I can see that there are just a ton of cocoons in there. Um, before I pour them in, my cardboard is not quite as wet as I would like it. So I'm just gonna grab my little sprayer and wet it down a little bit. So my idea is I'm going to be putting the cocoons on the outside of the feeding station. There is some food in here in the middle feeding station. The worms will, the worms will eventually work their way into that once they hatch, and that's where I'll be pulling them out from. But I'm going to be placing the cocoons loosely on top on the outer part of the ring so that I can keep an eye on their progress. I'm really looking forward to seeing these cocoons hatch. I do have a digital microscope, so stay tuned. I'm hoping I'll get some good hatching footage that I will be able to share with you. I have never seen this many cocoons at once. I'm so excited. This is amazing. All of those green dots you're seeing are European nightcrawler cocoons. Each cocoon holds between, uh, usually it's three to four worms, but it could be anywhere between one to five cocoons. I mean, worms per cocoon. And when they're yellow means that they're brand new. The darker that they get, the closer they are to hatching. So I'm gonna keep an eye on their hatching progress, like I said, and of course, keep an eye on the feeding tray to see if there are any um, hatched worms that I miss, and I will keep you updated on that.